Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you're rejoicing. I pray you are already glad in it. This is day number eight. That's right. Day number eight of 10 days of Thanksgiving. And each day we're just being grateful, having grateful hearts and an attitude of gratitude, just thanking God for who he is and what he means to each and every one of us and what he's doing in our lives. You know, sometimes um, we can look in front of us and the clouds may be hanging low. Um, things may not be going the way we want them to, but God's word reminds us we have a reason to give God praise. When we think back over our life, we have a reason to give God thanks. And that's what we're doing. And each day we just read a passage of scripture that reminds us of our need to pray, to praise, and to thank God in this season. And so today we're going to be praying from 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the Word says. Therefore, I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Amen. So today we just want to lift up um, a number of people that we're connected to. First of all, we want to pray and give thanks for our families. We want to pray and give thanks for our families, those that are close to us and that were what we consider our loved ones and our families. Secondly, we want to pray and give thanks for our relatives, our extended family, people that are connected to us in our relatives and families. Thirdly, we want to pray and give thanks for our neighbors, the people we are associated with, maybe the people, our coworkers on our jobs. You want to write their names down. Um, you want to pray for them by name. You want to pray for those that are neighbors, associates, and coworkers. And then fourthly and finally, um, we're to give thanks and be made for all men. But we want to pray and thank God for our government officials, both locally and nationally, and even those on a world scale, that we might be able to live peaceable lives um, because of what our government officials are being led to do by God. So let's lift them up before the Lord today and pray that God will even turn their hearts to do what is right, that we might be able to live peaceable lives for him. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and bless you and praise you. Great, and you are greatly to be praised. Lord, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, Lord, you are worthy of all praise. Lord, we thank you and bless you and praise you for the word of God, which encourages us to pray. For you said in your word that all prayers and supplication and intercession and giving of thanks be made for all people everywhere. So first of all, Lord, we, we lift up our families to you. Thank you for the families that we, we have, the, the grandparents and the parents, the, the siblings, Lord, the, the sons and the daughters, Lord, the wives and the husbands, the, the families that we have up under our roof and connected to us, Lord. We thank you for um, just love and, and compassion for one another, and care and concern for one another. We just pray, Lord God, that wherever our families may sit or stand or lay, God, that your hedge of protection would be all around them, Lord, that your hand of protection would be up on them, Lord, and that you would let no hurt, no harm, no danger come near or nigh them, Lord. We lift up our relatives, Lord, our extended family, those that are connected to us, both in our church and in our body, a, a local body of believers, Lord. We just lift them up to you, Lord. We don't know what they're facing. We don't know what they're going through. We don't know what they stand in need of, but we pray to a God that knows everything. You know the very numbers of hairs on our heads. So Lord God, we just pray for our neighbor, our, our relatives, Lord, that their needs would be taken care of and their, their needs would be met in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for our neighbors to the left and to the right, across the street from us and behind us in our neighborhoods, Lord. The people that we see each and every day in the neighborhood, we may not know their name, God. We may not know their situation, but we know, God, that they cannot make it without you just as we cannot make it without you. So we pray, Lord God, you would extend your grace to them. We pray you would extend your mercy to them. We pray, Lord, you would extend your blessing to them. Whatever they stand in need of, Lord, meet them at the very point of their need. God, we lift up to you our coworkers, Lord, the people that we work with, the people that we work around, the people that we work for, and those that work for us, Lord. We just pray that you would bless them, keep them safe, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Secure them, Lord. If they don't know you in the pardon of their sin, Lord, and 
the forgiveness of their sin and the saving of their soul. We pray you would save their souls right now today in Jesus' name. Lord, we lift them up to you. If we know their names, God, we lift up their names to you. If we don't know their names, but know their faces, Lord, we know you know their names and you know their situations and circumstances. So draw them to the cross, God. Let them confess a hope in Christ and believe in his death, burial, and his resurrection. Lord, we lift up to you our government officials. We lift up to you nation kings and presidents and, and dictators, Lord, around the world, Lord, that you're, you would turn their hearts toward you, Lord. We lift up president, um, our president of our nation, Lord God. We lift up the vice president and the senators and the the, 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 the representatives, Lord, of the various constituencies that they represent, Lord, in Congress. We lift up to you governors and mayors, Lord. We lift up to you city council people, Lord. We lift up to you uh, local politicians and local leaders and civic organizations and pastors and leaders, God. We lift up teachers and principals and people in our school systems. We lift up people in our police department, our civil servants and our fire departments. We lift up those that offer leadership to our children in school, God. We lift up those that impact us in a daily basis, God. And we just pray for them that you would lead them and guide them, turn their hearts to you. Let them hear your voice today as they make decisions, as they do things and move about and do things that impact so many people, God. Let your will be done on earth today as it is in heaven. And we'll be careful to give you praise, to give you glory, to give you honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number eight of our 10 days of Thanksgiving. And we pray from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore, I exhort, first of all, the supplication, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all men. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.